In this video, I'm going to go through how to export your products using Dataflow. On my current installation here, I've got the Magento sample data, and there's 120 products in there. I'm going to start by going to System, Import Export, Dataflow Profiles. In here, there's six profiles that have already been created for importing and exporting data. The one I'm concerned with at the moment is Export All Products. So if I click on that, it gives me my configuration for this profile. We start with a name and what we want to export, whether it's products or customers, and whether we're importing or exporting, and whether we want to filter it by store as well. Further down, we've got information about our export, so whether we're exporting to a local server or remote FTP. I'm going to do mine locally. Also, the name of the file and the path to the file as well once we've exported it. So by default it will go into magenta root slash var slash export. Further down we've got the format for the file. So I'm going to do one as a CSV, comma separated, and close in speech marks. I'm going to have the attribute names on the first row. So that'll give me 121 rows rather than 120. And also I'm going to export all fields, so all attributes that are able to be exported, will be exported with this. And I'm not going to filter it by anything, so it's you, you have the potential here to export um, only certain products based on how you filter, but I'm going to leave this as it is for the, this example. So once I'm happy, I go to save and continue edit. And then I'm going to run the profile. Should only take a few seconds because I've only got 120 products in the store. And then if it's done properly, you should get this finished profile execution and no errors should show up in here. If you have got errors, there must be a problem somewhere with the data. Okay, so once it's exported, there's two ways of grabbing it. The traditional method is to go to your um, program and find it in the var export folder. And there it is, export all products.csv. Another way to grab it as well is to use an extension. I made this extension a while back. You can grab it from Magenda Connect at the moment. It's called Create Dataflow Export Downloads. It's free. You can install that. And what it does is it gives you an extra menu item in the Import Export drop down called Create Dataflow Exports. You can click on that you can download the file there as well so it just becomes available in two places if you click that and open that it's going to open for me in open office which is the program that I recommend you can download it for free online and then we have all our products I'm just going to change the row height here so you can see it easier so it's exported all my sample data, all my products, and all the available attributes for export as well. It doesn't export everything, but it exports about 90% of the information belonging to your products, including all custom attributes as well. If I wanted to filter my profile, I'm going to go to System, Import, Export, Data Flow Profiles again. I'm going to go into Export All Products again. And this time I'm just going to rename it so we can find it. So I'm going to call it Export All Products Filtered. And I'm going to export only mapped fields this time. Now the one that you have to always um, add in this is SKU. Because that acts as a unique identifier for every product. And I'll also export the product name. And just for this example, I'll export the price as well. Down here, we can filter even further. So I can say only enabled products, or only visible products, or not visible products export, or only products which cost, say, from 99p to 20. It's quite a lot you can do to filter this down. I'm going to only export 
furniture. So I'm going to save my profile and then run it again. This time it's only exported six products. So I'm going to go into my file system. Oops. And then there it is. As you can see, it's exported only the SKU, the name and the price as we asked. And it's only exported products which belong to the furniture attribute set. Again, if I wanted to download this using the extension, I could just go to System, Import Export, Create Data Flow Export, and there it is, exactly the same file. There we go, that's it.